Good evening, everybody. He's here. I'm down here at the river. Thought I'd come down and do some fishing, and I'm not doing too good. For some reason, my capabilities today are a little off. And because my capabilities are off, the responsibility of the fish to respond to my capabilities is not quite working the way I wish. So, I thought I'd take a little break and talk to everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. And uh, so basically I wanted to talk about breaking down capabilities and responsibilities. And when we think about the word capability, we think about capacity. Everybody's always worried about what capacity are you in. Um, are you a trustee? Are you a trustor? Are you the beneficiary? Are you the debtor trustee? Are you the debtor beneficiary? Are you the creditor? Are you the creditor beneficiary? Are you the creditor trustee? Whatever. What's your capacity? And when we think about capacity, we think about the responsibilities it takes to step into that capacity. And so when we talk about capabilities and responsibilities together, I want everybody to understand that's part of the balance in life. Because when we think about, and I, and I try to tell everybody everything's backwards. Everything's backwards. Because when it comes to co uh, capabilities and responsibilities, you have a greater requirement to capabilities than you do to responsibilities. Because your capabilities are your ability to absorb your surrounding environment and take it all in so that you can act accordingly within the rest of that environment. The environment and everything it includes, not just yourself, which is your own little universe. Or the other people. Which is the multiverse. Or everything. Everything which is the omniverse. And for my little universe, I wish the multiverse would be a little different. I wish the multiverse wasn't quite so involved and I had a much more um, omniverse involvement. A more natural omniverse involvement. And so when we think about the words capability and responsibility, we have to remember it's our ability to respond accordingly by what we're capable of taking in first. So when we walk into these courts, it's very important we know that our responsibility is dependent upon our capabilities. And I explain this in my own case where several years ago um, I, I realized I've got the right to travel and I'm going to start expressing it. I didn't know exactly how I was going to um, progress in that expression. But I certainly always hoped the best and that they, that they would just leave me alone. And so for the first several times I got pulled over, they did, in fact, leave me alone. Um, granted, I got some citations for seatbelt, no insurance, um, speeding, whatnot, but they never bothered me about my private property placard. They never gave me any, any citations for that until this last time I got pulled over. So in the meantime, I signed all those tickets 1-308, UCC 1-308, reserving my rights, and then just never went to court. So then when the county sheriffs pulled me over and gave me a uh, ticket for invalid plates, or they pulled me over for invalid plates and then charged me with possession of marijuana with subsequent charges subsequent in other words they're saying they 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 charged that i that they they caught me with possession of marijuana first and then pulled me over for for invalid plates so 
Um, and this is why I say it's all it's all backwards and, and and all that. And so when we go into these courts and we don't know our responsibilities because we don't have the capabilities of responding first, also remember that also puts that administrator in the same spot. He doesn't have the responsibility to go above and beyond the responsibility you show. So when we walk into these courts, um, we got into a, I got into a discussion earlier um, about the trustee position. And when we go into these courts and we think that uh, that judge is trying to assign, assign his trustee, that's exactly what he's trying to do. And you're rebutting it like a trustee. Instead of rebutting this shit like a trustee, you know, I don't even rebut it as executor. I'm a fucking man. I'm a fucking man. Who the fuck do you have? Who the fuck gives you the delegation of any fucking authority over me for any fucking reason? Period. I don't care what words you use verbally or written, literally, in text, script, art form, penciling, penmanship. I don't give a fucking rat's ass. Because when it comes down to the truth, my true responsibility depends on my capability in following what I'm already bound to. And that isn't your word. That isn't your opinion. That isn't your belief. That isn't your concept. That isn't your law, rule, regulation, act, edict, ordinance. I don't give a flying fuck. I already have a bound. My word is my bond. And I'm already bound to the free will of my creation. And I don't care if you want to call him God or, or El or Allah or whoever. That's up to you. My creation belongs to me. That's my capability. I'm capable of responding in my entire environment. And I try to do so with an equal balance. So when they come to me with all these lies and stuff with a smile on their face, I'm going to start telling them the truth with a smile on my face. San Tzu said in The Art of War, to defeat one's opponent without fighting is of supreme excellence. And he said this because he himself honored and cherished his own men of war that he didn't want to lose a single one because they were familiar. He didn't put his brother out to lose his life for a concept or an idea that wasn't worth it. Let's talk about it first. So if you want to go spewing your lies and, and laugh at me and smile at my face, and ask me if I understand English. <laughs> Next time you ask me if I understand English, I'm gonna, under, I'm gonna ask you, um, I don't. Um, can you clarify this word? Term, condition. I'm an idiot. I need clarification. What is your intent? Because that, that's what it comes down to, your intent. If your intent is of, of peace and everything, then I have to respond in peace. If their intent is to harm me, and I, obviously, because of my responsibility to respond with that equal force and keep a life of balance, I'm supposed to respond in, in, uh, in, in uh, self-preservation. So, anyway, just wanted to make a quick video uh, about those two words, your capabilities and responsibilities. Your, uh, I, I think, uh, like I said, uh, and I'll always stick to it. Everything's fucking backwards, people. Um, so when we think about our responsibilities, we, I think it's more important that we think about our capabilities and understand how far we need to reach and how far we can reach in order to put these motherfuckers in the place. And uh, it, it's just basically simple truth. Finding out the truth. Um, excuse me, point of clarification. I, I've, I'm not literate on the subject here uh, but could you tell me what that means? And could you support it with a point of law that says that it applies to myself? 
Because if I, if I obviously, if I didn't know what it meant, then how could it apply to me? So let's first come to an understanding of what, it, what the intent is, and then we can go from there. And understand people, they, their, their intent is not war because they're doing it all on paper. Every last bit of it's on paper, and they're not doing it with the intent of war because they're fucking cowards. Stand up. They're nothing but fucking cowards. Period. Anyway, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. God bless. I hope everybody enjoys this night. I'm going to go back and do a little bit of fishing. See if I can get in a little more abundance of a little different variety. Everybody have a good night. Bye.